Today we are going to focus on finding equivalent number facts. Our learning intention is that we are learning to find equivalent number facts. This word equivalent can have the synonym of the same. So we are trying to find number facts that equal the same amount. I can identify the number sentences that have the same total. I can use the equal symbol to show the same as. And I can determine and explain if a number sentence is true or not. So if I'm trying to find number sentences that have the same total, I might have 5 times 3 and I might have... 3 times 5. I can say that 5 times 3 equals 15 and 3 times 5 equals 15. But I can then, I have identified that they have the same total. I now need to look at using the equal symbol. I can say 5 times 3 equals 3 times 5 because they have the same total. This equal symbol shows that 5 times 3 is the same as 3 times 5. I am being successful. I might have some number facts such as 3 times 4 and I might have a number fact such as 6 plus 6. If I use my multiplication knowledge, I know that 3 times 4 is 12. And I know that 6 plus 6 is 12. So, I can say that 3 times 4 equals or is the same as 6 plus 6. I know that this number sentence is true because both sides equal the same. You might be presented with a number sentence such as 10 times 5 equals... Three times nine. You need to determine if it is true or not. If I take ten plus ten times five, I know that ten times five equals fifty. If I take three times nine, I know that three times nine equals twenty seven. Therefore, I can say that this is not. True. And I am successful in determining if a number sentence is true or not. I hope you found this in video about finding multiples useful and please don't forget to subscribe to Geeky Oz Teacher on YouTube and social media. If you like this lesson on finding equivalent number facts, don't forget to subscribe and to follow Geeky Aussie Teacher on social media.